He's healed. Sometimes Jesus just touched people, they were healed. Sometimes they just touched his garment, they were healed. Sometimes Christ just cast a demon out, they were healed. But I think the most common way is laying on hands because, you know, if you're a Christian, Christ lives in you. It's the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead that dwells in you. You have resurrection power within you. And that's released by a thing called faith. You can have all that power but that you no good unless you really believe it. That's why I need, to, I need to understand who I was in Christ. That He dwells in us. Now you're suffering right now. What's wrong with you? And so how long has it been painful for? How bad is the pain right now? That's no good. It's a low back. And so the Bible says we can lay hands on the sick. So all I do, if you see me in a minute, I just put my hand on the person suffering. And I'll put my hand on the head. I just begin to pray, Lord, in your name, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I command the pain to leave the spine. See, we have authority. Notice I don't pray, oh, gee, please, Jesus, if your will, please help. But I just, I, I take authority. I command this to go <coughs> right now. And so what happens is this, is that because the Lord's in us, as we pray, and I put my hand on her, by faith, you can release that anointing. It flows through me from my arm into her spine, but it's directed by faith. My friend, my friend John Lane, who was, was a quadriplegic, he, he had faith to believe, even that little bit of movement in his arm like that, he believed that if he, that his finger could connect with someone, they'd be healed. See, all God needs is a point of contact. That's why when I pray, I say, put your hand on, on the ear of an ear. It's all, all it is is a point of contact by faith. That's all it is. And so I pray. I, now, keep in mind the foundation is that God's a healing God. I believe that. I believe that God lives in me. And I made a decision to believe God heals. And I've stepped out. Now, she stepped out. She could have stayed in her seat. She stepped out to come towards me, which, which, which I'm an ambassador of Christ. Actually, she's coming to Christ because Christ lives in me. And when I pray for her, the anointing's released. And so, God, we thank you for touching this woman right now. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for healing her spine. And God, all the pressure and suffering from that pain, even her emotions. See, what I do also, not only just pray for the physical person. See, when someone's been suffering from pain, there's often a lot of stress in their emotions. It could be even loss of finance, because they can't work properly. It could affect the marriage. There's all sorts of pressure that come upon a person. So, so, you know, God is interested in the whole person. And so am I. So when I pray, it's not just one isolated thing of a spine. We're looking at, at God touching the whole person. Just help this lady up now. Thank you to you guys. Some of you guys, help her up. Be very gentle. Don't drop it. It's a healing session. <laughs> just move your back. How's it feeling? Hang on. Yes. Turn around. Bend down. Bend down. Don't be scared. Touch your toe. Isn't that amazing? That's incredible. Put a hand in the body. Now, now, you know, there's a very famous healing couple called um, the Osbournes. Have you heard Till Osborne and Daisy Osborne? One time, they went to a meeting with a guy called Branham. And this guy, Branham, was doing what I was doing, just praying for the sick. And, and, and this guy, Branham, turned to Teal Osborne and Daisy and said, you can do this too. These guys belonged to a church that didn't believe in healing, but they came because they were curious. And, and, and Deal and the, uh, Teal Osborne turned to his wife and said, we can do this, we can do this. And they made a decision that they're going to step out and see people healed, just like they saw Branham do. You know, you know, you know this afternoon, we all have a choice. See, this is nothing, this is just all this is, this is just Christ lives in me. See, He looks for, you know, if you're a Christian, you're in the hands and the feet of Jesus. If, if you're a Christian, Christ lives in you. Now, I want to tell you, you can do this. You can do this. This is normal Christianity. This is not something strange or weird we attach onto a church. This is, this is part of church. It's amazing, isn't it? Now, when I was praying for you, what did you feel when my hand was on your back? There was heat coming through from your back. That heat 
As I was praying, you know, I said, God lives in us. By faith, you can release the anointing, you can withhold it. Because I understand Christ is always with me. I don't have to try and work, oh God, please, please heal her. God, please, please. You know, you, I, this is a day, I see some people praying. They're praying out of their soul or their emotions. Yeah. They're not praying by faith. And they get up and say, oh, Lord, please, oh, God, oh, Lord, oh, please. No, that's not faith. That's just pain of your soul. See, <laughs> faith, is, faith is a knowing. You know that you know that you know that you know. Now, if she wasn't healed, I would pray for her again. I'd pray for her again. Looking for improvement. If there's no improvement, I'd say, okay, come back next time I'll pray again. Or be asked the Holy Spirit, well, what could be blocking this lady? And so, as I was praying, that, that faith releases the power of God. It's the same power which we read in the Gospels where Jesus healed the sick. And that has not changed over 2,000 years. God hasn't changed. The Gospel hasn't changed. So how long has it been since you could bend down like that? Six years. Bend down again. Touch it. It's real, isn't it? But see, you notice she stepped out of her comfort zone. She stepped out in front of all you. You don't realize, I mean, it's easy for me standing in front of you because I'm always in front of people. For a lot of people, it's a very scary thing to come to the front and think your mind saying, well, What happens if I don't get here? I'm like a fool. And your mind gets involved. But you were desperate for a miracle, weren't you? Yes. The Lord just bless this lady. Now, now if, if she wasn't getting healed, I could then ask the Holy Spirit, Lord, what's happening? See, you know, you know what I'm saying? The Holy Spirit is always speaking to us. Mm-hmm. And God speaks to us spirit to spirit, spirit to spirit, spirit. We are spiritual people. Mm-hmm. We are spiritual people. And sometimes, if we don't understand the voice of the Holy Spirit, we discount it as our mind or imagination or something else. If you're a Christian, the Holy Spirit is all... He lives, he lives in you. My wife lives in my home. And I hear her voice because she lives in there. <laughs> if I didn't hear her voice, if I kept getting her voice confused, it would be really weird, wasn't it? Yes. But you, I, I know her voice. If we had children, I still know her voice. The Holy Ghost has a voice. But the thing is, we don't understand how to hear His voice. And so He speaks to us. And sometimes it's not, we just say, Lord, what's... You know, if I ask God, He begins to show me things. It could be financial problems, marriage problems, and pressures. Now, don't always talk to the person. It could be embarrassing. It could be some embarrassing situation. But the Holy Spirit speaks to us, and by faith, we can quietly pray about something. It could be embarrassing, or financial, or emotional. And sometimes the Lord might show, He shows me things in people's past. It would give me uh, like a picture of a little girl, or a little boy. It could be, it could be like the first day of school. It could be a, something that happened to them, and God reveal things to me to pray and unlock something in their lives. And so, it's that been, been having the Holy Spirit lead us in this. And so, you notice when I pray, I'm not stressed out. I just relax. I remember, it's not because He lives in me. He lives in you. It's, 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 it's not that hard. In fact. It's so easy, it's difficult. <laughs> and the reason why it's difficult is the human mind is always looking for something logical. And, yeah. and our mind, or, we, we almost expect it to be hard. But it's easy in the Holy Ghost. God, touch your emotions to each Deep on the inside. Deep on the inside. Now, as I'm praying, I can then release the anointing again, but it's by faith. I don't know. It's like in a car, you know, car you change gears. You, know, you go in the first gear, in the second gear. In the Holy Ghost, when you understand the Spirit, you can almost like change gears in the Spirit. <laughs> and you can release the Spirit like that. And you can release it here. Or it's like it's in the back of the room, you can release it. You can release it. You can release it to another country. You can release it to another house down the street. You can release it. It's. it's so the only barrier is believing. 
The only, that's why it's so easy, it's difficult. Because the human mind looks for something logical. This is not logical, it's spirit stuff, it's faith stuff. And it comes from this precious word over here. It's